Hello, hello friends. This is your first live cast with me. I'm Natasha Hazlett and I help entrepreneurs from around the world give the clarity, confidence, and strategies that they need to boost their income and their level of influence in the world without working longer hours. Good morning, Heather. Um, so, uh, today, this morning, I was in my, um, I was in my Code Red Life Facebook group. This is my, uh, like the, the folks that are all on this, this challenge. And, um, and, and uh, someone posted a post in the group and I like, uh, the reaction that I got was like out of control. Like I just, I was like, oh my gosh, I've got to tell her this. Then I was like, hmm, like I think that this actually, this message needs to go to more people. So here is what happened. Here's what went down and this is what you've got to quit doing. Okay. So, and I'm guilty of it too, by the way, I'm guilty of doing this. Um, so there was someone in the group that, um, had lost something like 60 pounds. And so, and that was awesome. And that was super awesome. And then someone said, um, Hey, I've lost something like eight pounds. And, um, you know, and I know it's not so-and-so, but I'm so, you know, something like that. I know it's not so-and-so, but I've lost eight pounds. And I'm like, no, no, you got to stay in your own damn lane. You got to stop comparing yourself to other people. Compare itis. It, it is a f tremendous form of self-sabotage. It is something that comes from the ego. It is not something that is healthy for you. You've got to stay in your own darn lane and stop comparing yourself to other people. Let me tell you friends, um, back in the time, and I have become very, very um, <laughs> open <laughs> about um, some of the difficult times that I had um, just a few years ago. Um, and I, my business, was really our business, not just mine, our business was really not growing at the level that it, it should for the impact that we were making in people's lives. And um, the reason, the reason, the culprit, compare itis, compare itis. I was so damn obsessed with what other people in my space were doing that I had just convinced myself, I had talked myself out of like putting my message out there in the world because I was just convinced that no one would want to listen to me because I was a fat girl. Okay, that was BS. That was BS self-talk. Okay, um, that, that self-sabotage of I couldn't possibly be as good as so-and-so. So-and-so is better. So-and-so is a better speaker. So-and-so is better on video. So-and-so has got a better video camera. So-and-so has got the, the better video backdrop. Uh, they don't say, um, so much. I always say, um, still after shooting hundreds and hundreds of videos and it annoys the crap out of me. <laughs> so sorry if you ever have to hear me say, um, a lot. I'm working on it. Uh, see, I just said it again. Anyways, <laughs> um, so, God, I can't stop saying it now. Anyways, I was so focused on what I, why I wasn't as good as someone else that I just, I just hid myself. I didn't create content, even though my content helped other people. I know this because now I'm a content generating machine. Y'all are seeing my a bunch of posts on Facebook. Y'all, I start signed up with Instagram. So actually, apparently I already had an account that I didn't remember that I started like years ago. I'm on Instagram now. I'm a content creating machine. And are there other people out there that do Instagram or Facebook Live or videos or blog posts that are better than me? Hell yeah, there are. But I don't care. I don't care because there are some people that just need to hear it from me. 
They just need to hear it from me in the way that I do it. Even though it may not be as amazing and perfect and flawless as someone else. I was just at a at a lunch the other day and, and uh, someone was talking about that they were so nervous to do Facebook Lives. And I was like, oh, you know, just don't worry about it. You know, just go out there, rip off the band-aid and just do it. Just be you. And and I told them, I said, you know, I, I there are times where I'll just admit to everyone that's watching, like, uh, I totally forgot what I was going to say. And it's okay. Y'all don't care. Y'all don't care. And that's, and apparently... Don't like the real stuff, which is really convenient because I'm just real. And I just and I just love the fact that I just have the ability to just share my heart. I'm about to go into a, a meeting here and I just have this on my heart and I'm like, you know what? I'm not setting up a beautiful backdrop. I'm not going to, you know, fuss with all that. I just threw my camera up on the dashboard and here I am coming to y'all live. So this business about comparing yourself is something that I just hope that you if you find yourself in that space where you feel like you can't charge as much as so and so because you're not that good or you don't you, you, know, you don't you're afraid to go on a do a video or launch a website because your website isn't as pretty as other people's oh my gosh y'all I still like don't really like my website every time I do I make changes to my website I like it for like a hot minute and then I'm like it's not as good as so-and-so or someone else has just redone their website and it looks like way better you got to release the compare itis focus on you the only thing that I think that you should be comparing is comparing yourself yesterday to today are you being a better you today that's what I would be comparing about. Are you growing in the direction that you want to grow? Are you doing the stuff that you're supposed to do? Are you sharing the messages that you're supposed to be sharing? If you want to, if you want to focus on comparing because you love to compare, compare yourself to you yesterday. Otherwise, just stay in your own damn lane and stop worrying about what everyone else thinks and what everyone else is doing. And to the precious lady who lost eight pounds, hell yeah, girl, that is awesome. Eight pounds is freaking awesome. Do y'all agree? Is eight pounds pretty awesome? That's an awesome weight loss just to get started. So you got no business comparing yourself to someone else that's lost 20 pounds or 30 pounds or 50 pounds or 60 pounds. One of my friends, and let's, and let's just... I'll wrap it up since I started talking about this coming from a weight loss comparitis. I'm gonna I'm gonna end with that. I had a friend. Uh, I have a friend who lost 30 pounds on the program uh, that I did. Okay. I lost 60 pounds. Okay. Um, now, does that mean that she only did half as well as me? No. No, she actually is, has a much smaller frame. She went down like five or six something sizes. She actually, at 30 pounds less, is a smaller dress size than me. Okay? Because she's going to compare her to her. And I can't compare myself to her because I'm taller than she is. My bone structure is totally different than hers. So... I can't, it's not a fair comparison. It's not apples to apples. So, you know, if, for those of y'all that are doing this weight loss challenge with me, um, don't compare yourself to other people. Just follow your rules, do what you're supposed to do, and ask yourself, was I better today than I was yesterday? So, that's what I've got for y'all. Oh my gosh. Look at that live. Awesome. I was going to try to swipe left, but that's awesome. Now you know. The videos don't have to be perfect. So, anyways. There we go. I'm holding it now. All right, friends. Oh, I like this view better. Oh, I'm seeing hearts. Thank you. I don't know. Were y'all giving me hearts before? Because I couldn't see them. And I couldn't even see comments. So, anyways. Well, if this video resonated with you, I would love for you to share it. And keep other people from 
the deadly, maybe not so deadly, comparitis. It's something that's a massive form of self-sabotage. It is something that is not healthy for you. It is not going to, it is not going to uplift you. It is not going to uplift other people. There is nothing positive that that is going to come from you comparing yourself to other people. So just do you. Okay. Love y'all. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you in the next video. Bye friends.